Hello everybody, welcome back to some Orcarina of Time. Picking up where we left off, last time we finished the Dongo's Cavern. We acquired our bombs, and then we're directed to go see the fairy at the top of the mountain, which we will do. But first things first, we have two things, I think, uh, to do inside here. One is we're going to finally go past these rocks into this room that's over here. And we're going to do this first because while we do need to stop that guy down there to get our bigger bomb bag, like I said last part, uh, I'm reasonably certain that when he gives it to us, he'll give us... He'll, oh, okay. uh, he will uh, max out our bombs for us. So since I don't remember precisely which way... We need to go in this room because it is somewhat of a maze. Okay, so we can't blow up those rocks. We need the uh, hammer, I do believe, to do that. We just gotta blow up all the rocks because I know that there's. Oh, whoops. Because I know that there's some chests in here as well. And once again, I don't know exactly where everything is in here, so. But, like I said, we should be getting now max bombs here right away, so oof, my game like this little bit right there. Apparently too many bombs, which I, I understand. There was I, I put down quite a few bombs there. Uh, but yeah, there's a gold sculpture in here, at least, uh, and we should have a couple of chests, yeah. Whether or not these chests will be worth it, I don't know, but... 50 rupees that we could hold maybe eight of. Ow. I don't know if I even want to open this other one. Oh. You know what? I'm actually going to make a, a save state right there. Because if this is another 50 rupees. Yeah, I'm just going to. Okay, anyway. Uh, so... We won't open that since we know that it's another 50 rupees that we cannot hold. Uh, so we will wait until we need to buy something. Now we still do have to go and give the money to the mask guy, but it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so now we have four bombs. Oof. Um, there might be a little bit of lag here since I did just after I had to restart. All right, here he comes. on oh nice it, wow he rolled into like had to be like the edge of that explosion yeah i'll give you this in praise of your courage Boom, big bomb bag uh 30 i think yeah and he did fill it up for us how nice oh, God. I'm, I'm tempted to see if there's anything I mean, there's never anything in the shops, though, right? I mean, like, there's shit to buy in this game, but it's never... It's never in the stores. It's always just, like, random crap merchants, you know? Or for, like, the little mini-games and shit, like... I think the only thing that I might ever buy in these games is the, uh... The blue tunic and that's just because i can never remember where the free one is i'm reasonably certain there's a free one anyway um but like even right now thinking about it i can't honestly say that i remember where it is um yeah all right so time for us to climb the mountain if the game will let us there we go oh come on game don't be like that. See, this is why normally when I, uh, right before I start recording, I turn the game on and I run around for a couple minutes just to, uh, just to let everything, like, go. Fucking rupees, man. See, like, that, I think that might be more of my issue with chess than, 
than anything else with them. Because, like, I say that they're worthless. I mean, obviously 50 rupees isn't worthless. But it's just one of those things where it's like, yeah, you got 50 rupees, but, I mean, unless you can hold it, then what's the difference, you know? Like, even, like, this here, like, blowing those up, like, I got the bigger wallet. I don't think that I can get the other one yet, because it's, I, I think the other one is 50, right? Like, we get another reward at 30, but I want to say, I think there's also a grotto under here with a cow in it, if I'm not mistaken. But now you'll see why this shield is actually important, because you may have noticed, didn't really use it a whole lot in, uh, in Dodongo's Cavern, even though... Even though that's why, you know, it's like, oh, make sure you get the shield before you go up there. But it's really, realistically, it's for this part after. Now, this part is honestly really annoying. Uh, because, as you may have noticed, the rocks 100% parted you. Which is obviously bullshit. It's an erupting volcano. But it just happens too much, you know? Now, thankfully, once you get close enough to this wall, it should, like, this should be the last eruption that we have to deal with. Once, once again, obviously, doesn't make much sense, but as you see, this guy has cleared up. Now, this wall here... Oops. Okay, you can... Ah, okay. Now, this wall here is a little annoying. It looks great, though, I will say. Not so much when I get an angle on it. I still don't know how I fucked up this uh, graphics pack, but whatever. Uh, now the thing is, is that this is, uh, there is a sculpture right here, and time does pass while we're here. So we should be able to wait for it, but I'm pretty sure that somewhere on this wall, Oh, you know what? Never mind. I'm thinking of a different sculpture. I'm thinking of the one that's down at the, uh, down at the bottom. Ah, yes, so and now we have this fucking asshole here that we can't avoid, I don't think. I'll try my damnedest to avoid him. All right, so we have two things that we can get in here. Uh, now, unfortunately, we can't stay in here for very long. And I don't think we can reach the one Skulltula. So we have this skull. Oh wow, well, 20 seconds, eh? Alright. Got a token proving you destroyed it. Alright, do I have... I think the only healing thing I have is a fairy. Oh, uh, is there going to be any way for me to get... Oh, you know what? Yeah, there is. Duh. Okay, let's try and avoid the owl. Oh, also, we'll need this. Now, this owl is actually fairly useful if you uh, if you remember the one piece of heart we got in Kakariko Village uh, that was in that one house next to the cow, and it uh. We use the chicken and the construction area to get to it. Oh my god, game, come on. Don't know what your problem is, but you gotta stop. Um, if you don't manage to get that one with the cocoa, uh, you can, the bird there will literally drop you off right at it. I don't know what's wrong. I don't, I, like, I don't have anything in my in the background running right now. I have, like, a web page open, but nothing, like, is on it. You know, like, it's not like playing a video or anything. So I don't know what the hell the game's problem is being here. Yeah. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna...
still being laggy, but seem to have picked up a little bit. But I don't know what the hell is causing it. So this is one of the great fairies. This is the great fairy of power. A sword technique, eh? Really? They're gonna... Ugh, I forgot that's what she gave me. I thought she was gonna give me something different. Whatever. We'll go see her sister. It's a lot better. But the point is that she healed me, which is what we needed to get our next piece of heart that we can get. Yeah, I'm holding nothing. The secret sword technique of the spin attack, which you have actually seen me employ uh, more than once. If you want to release energy without charging your weapon, just rotate that once and press B for a very effective quick spin. Yeah, it uh, it's kind of annoying that this is honestly an ability. It uh, it obviously does more damage than just like. Yeah, and then she gives you a hint to where there's another fairy. Um. Something wrong with their eyes, I say. Um. Oh my god, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. But I don't want to fucking restart it again already this quick. Alright, so now that we have full health. Oh yeah, so if you want to see the spin attack. It just charges and then you can get a big one. And like I said, it does do more damage than like your normal little. You can also do a little one like that, which takes like basically no magic. All right. Okay, so we have, oh, now we have a full minute in here for some reason. I guess the fact that we got magic gave us extra time. Now one of these, this one, is a climbable wall. Now there is another great fairy also in here, but I don't know if, I don't think we can get to her right now. And that's another heart container. Puts us up even higher, which is good, because it isn't, and like once that timer runs out, it's not an instant death. Uh, it does start, it just ticks down our life. Now, I am going to use the owl to get down from here, uh, even though we will immediately need to come back, but we won't need to come back very far. If you remember that uh, the Skullchilla that we could hear that I couldn't get to. Um, oh, nice. You actually had to talk to him. Okay, so he was a vulnerable. Yeah, um, I, and none of it, none of what he said was important. Absolutely none of it, I can assure you. That none of it was important. All right, but yeah, we have one more sculpture to get here. And then we'll have to head back to, uh... well, you know what? Maybe there isn't as much. There is a couple things we need. Oh yeah, so it drops you on top of the house. And then if you go to this side of it and look down, you can see it hop down and then this will get you that piece of heart that we already got by using the cocoa. Uh, obviously doesn't really make too much of a difference when you get it. Um, you know, unless of course you're, uh, you're, already, you're already at three out of four before you went up Death Mountain or something, but uh, I'm not sure how many we were at. It's hard to keep track of just how many pieces of heart. But yeah, after we do this, we'll head back to this town. We'll pay for the mask, get the new one. Uh, we won't be using the new one. Like I said, we'll wait until I got the... Uh... But once we have the new one... Uh, since we have... There he is. Now this is a really weird one because I do believe, yeah, for some reason this wall is climbable. 
and I don't know why. Clearly, it's just a rock wall, but for some reason, it's considered climbable. Uh, do I care if it's not quite... Ah, it doesn't... Okay, doesn't matter. I was gonna say, do I care if it's not quite daytime yet, but I guess it doesn't matter, because it is. <sighs> Alright, so... The things that I know we can do right now, piece of heart and everything wise, because I know that there's some sculptures that you need to bomb open holes for, um, but I'm reasonably certain that the ones down the holes you can't collect until you get the boomerang. Uh, what the hell is that noise? Is that supposed to be the window? Why is it so loud so far away? Are windows really that loud? If so, damn. Um... But yeah, we're going to go back here, like I said, uh, pay for the mask, and then we'll have the bomb tube shop should be open now, and we can do that. And then there is, uh, to get our last, no, to get, yeah, uh, so the bomb tube shop will get us another, our last, or second, uh, whatever, last, uh, bomb bag upgrade. Our biggest bomb bag and then there's a deku nut upgrade that we can buy in the sacred for forest meadow and then we can't get the other one until we sell our last mask there so we'll head here first i think we can do bomb two bowling during the day i don't think that it's required okay Okay, so 30 rupees for the spooky mask. Payment received. Get the bunny hood. And like I said, I'm not even 100% sure if the guy who buys that one from you is even there yet. Like, I don't know if there's something that you need to... Oh, you know what? We'll go do this first. Once again, if we're going to get a bomb bag upgrade, it'll fill up our bomb. So we may as well, if we know we're about to use bombs we may as well go and use them first right hopefully this fairy won't make my uh won't make my game fucking seizure before she shows up like the last one but who knows uh we should be good to head into the third dungeon in the next part though okay you want to try i mean it literally hit the rock and landed next to it so i don't know why that didn't work <laughs> that's very very weird that that didn't activate maybe because it's already loaded a fairy fountain and a fairy this will go smoother or maybe something was like some process started in the background because yeah now it's working smooth It's weird just how much stuff you need that song for. So yeah, look familiar, because they all look more or less the same. All right. Uh, this is the Great Fairy of Magic. See, now I don't remember if each fairy is like different, different. If, like, each one is Great Fairy of something different. Because, in all honesty, like, we get the sword technique, which I even forgot was a fucking thing. Um, from the Fairy of Power. This is the Fairy of Magic, which gives us a magic spell. Um. In battle is... Yeah. Uh. But then there's two more magic spells you can get from fairies. And there's a fairy that increases your magic meter. So it's like, I feel like they're all fairies of magic. And you know what? We're just going to run over here. Oh, no. You've caught a kid. Man, brutal. Zero damage, though. Which means that even though they threw you out, apparently it was a gentle throw. Uh, but yeah, that's Dance Fire. That comes in handy quite a bit, actually. We could go and do a few things with it, but I'm pretty sure it just unlocks chests that probably just have money in it, sadly. Now then, like I said, this 
I may need to cut a little bit, and if I do, then the video is going to be shorter. Um, because the reward that you get, a customer, yes, easy bitch. The bomb to bowling alley. If you want to know what you can win, it's a secret. So yeah, until you pay her, she won't tell you what you can win. Okay, aim for the hole in the center and let Bomb Chu go. Yes, yes, ten tries. Oh, yeah, come on. And we get, ooh, we can win Bomb Chews. Shocking. So this is Bomb Chu Bowl, and you have to get the Bomb Chu in the hole three times. And what Bomb Chews are, they're movable bombs. It's a really cool idea. But they just didn't do enough with it. Is my issue with it, like... Like, it's a really neat idea that they just didn't capitalize on. So, they, because, like, they can climb on walls and everything, right? I don't know how that one ended up coming back towards me like that, I'm not going to lie. Uh, so, it's honestly really annoying when they go on the side like that, but it's a lot easier to go along the wall than that. And the third one, the first and third one is always the same. The second one's the only one that's different. And the third one, not only do you have the spike thing, which really isn't an issue, you have not one, but two... The thing that isn't an issue is the thing that blocked me. But two chickens, and it's insane... Oh, look at that. Um, it's insanely hard to time. Uh, because obviously it's a long path, so even if the chickens are out of the way when you set the bomb two down, there's no guarantee that they're not going to be in the way once it reaches them. Um, and honestly, the fact that we won these right here isn't a bad thing. Um, okay, let's see. What do you got this time? It's... Oh, look at that. A piece of heart. Okay, so there's a piece of heart and a... And a bomb upgrade here. Or a bomb bag upgrade. I think, right? Like, that's... Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. Now, I used to be able to... Nice, I still got it. I was gonna say, if you pick the right, if you stand like on the squares just to the left, or just to the right, sorry, of that center arrow, you should be able to hit every hole fairly easily. Oh, that's gonna hit that spike. Um, move, chicken, move. Yes. Uh, because no matter which side the, uh, or no matter where the second one's hole is, because it's either at... I don't think it can be at the bottom, but it can either be at the top from the ceiling in the center, or it can be in the center of either side. And I'm pretty sure that from where I'm standing, all you have to do is slightly turn. Okay, well that's just bombs, not a bomb bag. Uh, you can just slightly turn to, uh, to get it in. It's weird that it keeps giving me this side. I'm not gonna lie. I, yeah, that's very strange. To move. Ah, oh, you fucker. And somehow that went even lower. Alright. See, now, here's the thing, right? I'm annoyed that it's not going in, but at the same time, it, you know, it, it, it doesn't matter because I don't need the bombs. You freaking jerk. Remember when I did it perfectly the last time for the piece of heart? I mean, I'm glad that I did it for the piece of heart. But, you know, it's honestly a little annoying. But yeah, like, th this part here is the only part that annoys me. I've been getting insanely lucky with it. Wait until the bomb bag shows up, then I won't be. Um, because, yeah, it's basically a crapshoot with that chicken. Like the little one, for, like the little one can get pretty far away. Um, yeah, yeah. Yes, I want to play again until I run out of money. Uh, oh, there's the bomb bag. Now watch it somehow screw me over. That chicken will just like eat all the bombs or all the bomb chews. It's always on that side for some. I don't know. I really don't know what its problem is. Oh wow, that's so not going in. There's that, alright. That's gonna be way too high. 
See, remember I said, like, now I'll screw it up because it's, like, the prize that I actually came here for? Okay. That might... Really? Looks just... Yeah, like I said, remember when I said that? Remember? I was like, oh, I'm mad that, you know, it'll put the bomb bag up and then I'll fuck it up. Alright, now you're just really fucking with me here. See, and then, because, like, for some... Okay, that's weird, but I'll take it. But see, now I have one shot. And I have to trust that this chicken won't block it. Now, like I said, I've been insanely lucky with this chicken so far. And generally what I try and do, honestly, is try and do it when the chicken is in the middle, because it... Oh, goody. Then I'll be able to play more. As you win the prizes, I think... Uh, like, obviously, bombs will always be a an option because, you know, technically you can always have bombs. Um. Come on, you dirty, dirty rat bastard. Um. Is it just me, or is it, like, not, like, correct that they go up the wall like, it seems like the same amount no matter where I place them. See, and now that one there, I barely moved over and then it went so high above it. Like, I feel like something is off here. Get in there, fuck. And once again, I'm down to one, and I probably do need this to stay in this game for the moment. Ugh. But yeah, like, generally my strategy for the chicken, or for the big chicken, if I decide to actually, like, try and play a strategy, is to wait for it to be in the middle. Because for to me, it makes sense, because it seems like there'll be a better chance for it to then move out of the way. Whereas if it's not in the middle when you put it down, it could technically move further out of the way, but... I don't get any more bomb shoes. Uh, but it could also move into the way. Because, like, obviously the chickens do move left and right a lot more than they move uh, back and forth. You know, I kind of just want to burn all the bomb chews. And just not care, you know? Now, you can try and do it the same way that, like, I just did it. To, like, get the ones on the side so that it, like, climbs the side wall and then hits the back wall and goes straight across into the hole. Because that is a way you can do it. Oh, come on. That's that's playing dirty right there. That chicken is clearly coming out of Or moving out of the way. But yeah, like, the chickens move so much that it's nearly impossible to actually come up with, like, a legit strategy for it's like, oh, when the chicken is here, this is when you gotta do it. Because they move around so much. Now, I don't even know how many bomb chews I can hold. Like, you would assume that the bomb chews, since you need the... I'm pretty sure you need the bomb bag in order to unlock this and get bomb chews. Because um, there are places you can buy bomb chews as well. Come on. Well. Uh, but yeah, there is a couple of places you can buy bomb chews as well. There's actually a place in town here where you can buy... Oh, nice. See, now this one is the best one because it's just straight, and like I said, that little chicken, most of the time, it's a non-issue. Like, very, very rarely will you actually hit the little chicken, uh, because it tends to stay off to the side. Mine, this one's staying, like, way off to the right for some reason, I don't know why. But hey, that'll keep me in the game. Yes, I want to play again. And more bombs, that's not what I want. You can also place the uh, bomb chews like before the wall is even finished being destroyed. Um, but obviously, you know, 
Oh man, look at that, I actually hit the low one. Like I said, it's not very often that the low one is a problem, because it is a little bit closer than the big one. And like I said, it does tend to stay away from the center more. Obviously, right now it's being kind of a dick, but... Oh, come on, big guy, yes. There's some more bombs that we didn't need. Yeah, I don't remember if, like, the, I don't think you can hold as many bomb chews. I don't think your bomb bag I, uh, does anything for the bomb chews. Now, the thing with the bomb chews is there are a couple places where you need them to do stuff. And I mean that quite literally, I think. There's two places where uh, you actually need bomb chews. And I'm reasonably certain that in those places, there's a chest that gives you bomb chews. Okay, get out the way. No, don't move this way, chicken. Um. So yeah, like, like I said, they're just a very underused thing. They're very unreliable to do very much with. Like, you can use them to kill some enemies that are, like, up on a wall or something. But at the same time, that's what, like, your bow and arrow and your slingshot and stuff is for, like... Okay, nope, don't turn back, you dirty bugger. It also sucks just how much time it takes. Oh, you little... Oh, nope, the big bastard again. How much time it takes for the chicken to uh, fucking come out of it. Because I guess the strategy you could employ would be to go to a side, purposefully bomb the big chicken so that it's stuck, and then go to the center and send it down, but... I mean, that's way too much. Alright, but there's our bomb bag. That's all that we need from here. Yeah, up to 40 bombs. You went to play again? No. Wow, that took literally all of our money. <laughs> like, literally zero rupees left. Oh, well. Uh... What was, okay, so that one, we got that, we got that. Yes, and now there's one more piece of heart, I do believe, that we can get. Uh, but we need to buy it, so uh, we'll need a little bit of money, but that's fine. It's daytime, the bridge is down, we can quickly grab ourselves 40, uh, 40 rupees, I think. So you mean I don't screw it up can anyway, and then we just gotta head over to the guy uh, to a business scrub, actually. One of the few that sells anything useful. And actually, come to think of it, because there's a piece of heart we can buy, and then like I said, there is a Deku Nut upgrade that we can buy, and while not necessary, still something that I'd like to get. So, so yeah, there's three... I don't know, I guess invisible rupees up there um, that you can get. There's obviously one in the middle and one on each side. Uh, and it's a super, super easy way, especially once you have the sun song, because uh, I don't actually know what makes them respawn. Because um, I think anyway, that as soon as like the map reloads their back up there. So if it's daytime, you can grab them, go into the town, come back out, grab them again immediately. Uh, which is insane. That you can do it like that. Like, it's absolutely insane. Um, now, what... <sighs> that's so far. But what I might do is because, like, we're going to go over here, we're going to buy a piece of heart, we're going to go back into the forest and we're going to uh, get our Deku Nut upgrade and then since there's that shortcut from the forest to Goron City I think I will take that shortcut so that I can grab the 50 rupees from the chest in the room with all the boulders and from the wall that we opened up outside uh so that, because the next area we're going to has the guy that sells us the magic beans. So if I grab those, so if I grab the rupees from those areas, uh, 
that should let us buy a good chunk of the beans. Obviously not all of them, but yeah, I think it's around here. I, I think it's more or less centered. Yeah. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? Do you want to hear what I said again? No, I didn't he want to hear what you said the first time. You already you told me that I, about a lake that I've already been to. Like, frig off. Stupid bird. Yeah, that's what I thought. Turn for sparing me, I will sell you a piece of heart. One piece for ten rupees, which is insanely cheap. And that's two. Only two more. And I think that we'll be able to get them before we even reach Zora's domain. I think, anyway. Or, you know, maybe. Uh, well, since the bird's gone, I can leap this way since that's... Oh yeah, there's actually... Well, you know what? Let's check out this grotto right here. I don't know what the hell's down here. Maybe there'll be a chest with some money. Oh, there's a chest. When I was a kid, I always thought... Because, like, you see these things here in the corner. It definitely looks like, uh, like a hornet's nest or a beehive or something. Nothing to them. Like, but, like they mean absolutely nothing. And it's, it was always weird to me. Uh, but yeah, it was always weird to me that they meant nothing. I also don't know what clock that's going by, because that is not the time that I'm recording this. Uh, it is definitely not almost 7 o'clock where I am. Alright, but uh, I think there might also be like another grotto over by those trees, but... The thing with the grottos is if I remembered what, what was in them, I would probably go for them more. But there's some grottos that are like that one that just has a chest that you open up. And most of the time it's money. Unfortunately, that was only five or not a 50. Um, but yeah, most of the time it's just some money. Uh, but there's also a lot of them that have business scrubs in them, which sell you, you know, nothing useful. Which is unfortunate, but, you know, what can you do? Uh, I guess I can... Uh, I don't actually know where he is. So the guy that we sell the bunny hood to, he runs around out here. Uh, but I don't remember exactly which... Because, like, he basically runs in a circle around Lon Lon Ranch. Um, but, like, I don't remember exactly, like I said, like, whether or not what time it is or anything. I think you have to sell it to him at night because I don't think that he stops running during the day. But even like at night, there's like specific points that he'll actually stop. All right. Uh, and then our last Deku Nut upgrade. It's really weird that they hid the Deku Nut upgrade behind it is, uh, if you remember where we, in the forest there, the, uh, the little plants that like their skull mask, if you take the mask of truth to them, they'll give you the, the other upgrade for the Deku Nuts. But it's just like such a weird, I guess they did it that way because like the odds of you finding that without knowing about it are probably fairly slim to begin with. And then to, uh, I really hope I remember the path to this fucking place. See, and like, I think there might be a grotto underneath. Oh, fuck you. Whatever, we'll blow it open anyway. Yeah, I'm well, not a grotto, but I think it's this one. Damn it. It wasn't. It's the one on the left then. Because I just know that you have to make a turn. Like, you go through... Like, you go straight, and then you've got to go left or right. And I can never remember which it is. And unfortunately, Saria's song... Also, is there a... There is a grotto there. Let's see what's under this one. Oh, there's another chest. More bugs. On um, be more than a fiver. Nope, just another fiver. All right. See, this is why I don't do grottos. This is why these grottos are absolutely worthless. Which is why there's people like... Uh, uh, like that randomizer that there is for this game, you know? Like, 
There's a lot of people who play that randomizer and they get screwed by the grottos because they don't know where any of them are because, you know, you just stop looking for them at some point, you know? Oh, apparently that wasn't... Okay. Maybe it's right here then? Although, wait. Yeah, because this is definitely a different one. Yeah, see. So, like, we'll see what these guys have. Nope, not that one. Okay. Uh. Oh, this is the guy. So we don't actually need... Okay. I thought that he was, like, in the meadow. Okay, so then what the hell do you sell? Do you just sell... Oh, Deku Seeds, I see. No, I don't have that much money anyway. Okay, so I th Oh, nice, the guy gave us a slight refund. Um, that was the guy we were looking for, but I 100% thought that he was uh, in the Sacred Forest Meadow. I guess he isn't quite in the Sacred Forest Meadow. Okay, so now we gotta do is go back to the uh, city entrance, pick up our money, and I think we should enter Zora's Domain. Uh, at the end of this part. The Zora's River doesn't have a whole lot to it. You know, it's very ominous to roll up and just have, like, a bunch of bombs greeting you, you know? <laughs> like, you walk through the door and it's just like, look at all the explosions that could happen. <laughs> all right. Here. I kind of want to bomb that last rock just to get rid of it, but at the same time, I don't... oh, you gotta be shitting me. These rocks come back. Now, of course, I'm not gonna remember what the fuck way I took to get through here. Boom, boom, boom. This one. you and I think this one and that's it yep there we go All right. yeah I don't care about that I also don't remember what like I said before like if you have the mask of truth uh those statues there will give you hints when you talk to them while wearing it I honestly don't remember what those hints are but I know it's something uh, I also think that you can get rid of these rocks here if you have the, um, the I want to say just the silver gauntlets as an adult, but I'm not 100% certain on that. Uh, let's see, what is, this is probably closer to Zora's River than going back through the forest. I would say it's got to be. Okay. Oh, nice. It's still blown open. Good. There's another 50. Oh, that should get us a few seeds. Uh, now, I could buy the seeds and then just, like, take the rest of this part to go plant them, but I'm not going to do that. I think you can jump down there if you so choose uh, as a shortcut to get back to Kakariko, but you have to jump it, like, or maybe I'm just thinking of there. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I was just thinking of where I just jumped off. But I think there is, like, a specific point somewhere that you can jump off to land, like, basically right at the exit. Alright. Man, I think I watched, because, like, I've uh, watched the same randomizer let's play twice. And I think it's stilted. Well, altered. I don't know, my view a little bit on what's important in this game, because I honestly thought that we had more to do once we unlocked the bombs, but I think I was just thinking of, like, the randomizer and, like, all the different grottos that they have to, uh, dig around with in that. Uh, because, yeah, I think the only... Well, I was going to say, yeah. I was going to say the only other thing we could do is go and plant seeds, but we need to go and buy them first. 
And like I said, I don't think that we're going to be able to afford all of them. Because I'm pretty sure that even if we had the 200 rupees, which we would have been able to have if we hadn't got so screwed on the bomb to bowling alley, but... You know, whatever. Not that big of a deal. Although I think we do have to deal with Dickhead again. Yeah, there he is. Oh yeah, look at that. We got a magic jar, our first one. Probably the most annoying thing about getting like bombs, magic, yada yada yada. Is uh I'm still just trying to skip. Yeah, just add Lizor's domain. Yeah, thanks. Uh-huh. Yes, they protect the water. Door will not open for anyone except those who have some connection with the royal family. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or somebody could jump through a waterfall. There's also a way to do it without playing the song if you uh, take the chicken that you can hear and uh, get it all the way to the end of Zora's of the river here. You, uh, which we do need to take that chicken, I do believe, with us. But uh, if you get it all the way to the end of the river, you can like jump and go against the wall or something to uh, to get like behind the waterfall or something. I don't know. It's not really something that I ever do. All right, well, it looks like we might end this part like as soon as we buy the beans then. So I have to go, but that's fine. We'll get this Skulltula, talk to the bean guy. Come on. What? Did, uh, is there not one in this one? I mean, there... Is this, like, the one hole where there isn't? Or was it just because I only got one bug to go down in? Okay, come on, bugs. They're not going in the hole. So this one may not have... I guess this one doesn't have a sculpture. So yeah, this guy's here sitting here eating magic beans. Uh, so yeah, about 10 rupees because they're not selling very well. Yeah, yeah. How about some magic beans? They're not that popular yet. How about 20 rupees? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Let's see, they're getting to be quite popular. So 30 rupees. So we should be able to get one more. Oh, now they're all the rage, so 40 rupees. And now what does he say? Obviously we don't have enough. Yeah, we have the popular magic beans. You'll regret them if or you'll regret it if you don't buy them now. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we'll end the part here, because I have to go. Uh, but yeah, next part we'll head into Zoro's Domain, and we should be able to get into Zoro's Domain and do the dungeon in one part, I would imagine. Because um, the dungeon isn't... well, although the dungeon's fairly... like, shit. Eh, whatever. I say that because it's like there's a lot of backtracking back and forth. You have to do stuff in exactly the right order. I guess that's all dungeons, but it's a lot less obvious where the right what the right order necessarily is in the next one so that'll be it for this part thanks everybody for watching and i will see you next time for more